Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a cool little quick unboxing here for you. This is Creed 2, uh, the 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray and digital copy version. Uh, this I received from Warner Brothers uh, for review. I have not seen this film yet. Uh, I have seen the first film, and I really enjoyed that one, although it's been a while since I saw it. And so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I've heard... Well, it's funny. I've actually heard kind of mixed things about it. I've heard mostly good things, but... Um, I'm going to have to decide by myself. Well, actually, first of all, let's take a look at the slipcover in here. The slipcover is the same as the cover. I do like the shine of that. That's kind of nice. I'm, I'm starting to... At first, when this came out, I didn't like the 4K look of the black at the top, but I'm really starting to dig it with the black cases, so... I don't... I don't collect a whole lot of 4Ks yet, because I don't have a 4K player. At least not yet. And uh, But I'm, I'm glad to be getting these now, so I can start a mass... Uh, future-proofing. Um, with 4Ks, because that is the future, I think. Uh, 4K and Blu-ray, but, um, yeah. So this has the exact same artwork on the front, with a, a promotional pen on the bottom there. And the back artwork looks to be the same, except for some images on there. And the spine just says Creed 2. Which is typical. So how about we open this up quick? Um, like I said, I haven't seen it yet. I know... This is uh, that uh, Drago is in this, and his son. I think it's is it his son? I really don't even know if it's a son or if it's a relative or something. But I think it's his son. Oh, hold on, get my copy out here. And on the right side we have the 4K, and the left side we have just regular Blu-ray. This card looks pretty much exactly the same though, so just typical, just solid color. Very neat. Take a look at the special features here. Let's do this because it's actually not as shiny. Well, it's still kind of shiny, but whatever. Um, well, here's the synopsis. You can take a look at that. Um, between personal obligations and training for his next big fight, Adonis Creed, son of deceased world heavyweight champion Apollo Creed, has boxing in his blood, but is up against the biggest challenge of his life. Facing an opponent with ties to his family's past only intensifies his impending battle in the ring. Adonis and Rocky Balboa, his father's rival turned friend, need to confront their shared legacy, question what's worth fighting for, and discover that nothing's more important than family. And there's some pictures of uh, casting characters there. That guy is fucking huge. Look at this fucking monster. Bigger than, um, well, he's actually, look how big Jordan's huge there, too. Jesus. Um, here we go. Special features. Deleted scenes. And then fathers and sons explore how Apollo Creed and Ivan Drago's legacy and rivalry take a toll on their sons. Casting Victor Drago, go behind the scenes at the casting of Florian Montaneo. Montaneo? I don't think I'm saying that right. As Adonis' greatest challenger, the women of Creed II learn how Tessa Thompson and Felicia Rashad brought heart and soul to the film. And the Rocky legacy experience, the enduring impact of the world of Rocky through the years. I have no idea what uh, role um, Sylvester Stallone has in this film. I don't think... He, did he direct this? He did not direct this, did he? I don't think he directed the first one either. That was What's-His-Face. Stephen Capel Jr. That was... Was it Ryan Coogler? Actually, it's, it's Creed 1. I don't remember. But um, Creed 1 was good. And like I said, this has got mixed reviews, but I don't... Uh, I'm, I'm going to check it out anyway because it's, I'm still a fan of these films. Huh. That shine there, damn. Uh, anyway, oh, and uh, Dolph Lundgren's in it, too, and apparently he does a pretty good job, too. He's just pretty awesome. It's really cool to have him come back here like that. I feel like a lot of these kind of films are being released. But, yeah, I am looking forward to checking this out. Um, let me know what you guys think in the, in, the, in the comments below, if you've seen it, what you thought of it. Like I said, I've heard mixed things about it, but it's mostly positive. So let me know what you thought. And, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm looking to... I actually did... I bought the steelbook of this. So on the release date, I'll probably have that unboxing as well. Because um, I, I collect steelbooks monthly. But uh, it's a pretty cool looking thing too. So, uh, but you'll see that when I get it. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been fun. I'm looking forward to watching. I'm going to try to watch this uh, tonight maybe if I've got time. But I probably don't. So I will watch it this week for sure. Thank you for watching, guys. And stick around if you want. And like I said, leave a comment below if you like the film or not. And let me know what you thought. So thanks for watching. And goodbye.